Do you know how to tell if your cat is sick? This is a question that every cat owner should be able to answer. It's a fact that cats are masters at hiding their discomfort, which is a survival instinct they've inherited from their wild ancestors. So, knowing your cat's normal behavior is crucial. From their eating habits to their sleeping patterns, playfulness, grooming behaviors, and even the way they interact with you, every little detail matters. When you're in tune with what's normal for your cat, you're more likely to spot when something is off. Changes in your cat's behavior could be a sign of illness. They may be subtle, like a slight decrease in appetite or a bit more time spent sleeping, or more noticeable like suddenly hiding away or avoiding contact. So let's dive deeper into how you can identify when your feline friend may not be feeling their best. Stay tuned to learn about the signs that your feline friend may be under the weather. First off, let's dive into changes in behavior. Cats, like people, have their own unique habits and routines. When these are disrupted, it can often indicate that something's not quite right. Consider your feline's eating habits. If Fluffy suddenly turns her nose up at her favorite salmon pate, or perhaps the opposite, starts gobbling down her meals like there's no tomorrow, these could be signs of underlying health issues. Changes in thirst can also be a red flag. Drinking too much or too little can suggest problems with the kidneys or diabetes. Now let's talk about the litter box. Yes, it's not the most glamorous part of pet ownership, but it's a crucial indicator of your cat's health. A change in the frequency, color, or consistency of your cat's waste can signal anything from digestive issues to urinary tract infections. Moving on to sleeping patterns. Cats are known for their love of sleep, but excessive slumber can hint at illness. Similarly, if your usually nocturnal kitty is suddenly up and about during the day, it's worth keeping an eye on. Finally, let's touch on social behavior. Cats can be aloof sure, but if your usually sociable Siamese is hiding away or your independent Maine Coon suddenly becomes clingy, it might be more than just a mood swing. Changes in grooming habits like neglecting to clean themselves or over-grooming to the point of bald patches can also indicate stress or physical discomfort. Just as with humans, changes in behavior can be subtle and gradual, or sudden and dramatic. It's important to note that these changes don't necessarily mean your cat is sick, they could just be having an off day or adjusting to a new environment. However, if these changes persist, it's always better to err on the side of caution and consult with a vet. Remember, sudden changes in your cat's behavior are often the first sign of illness. So keep a keen eye on your furry friend and make sure they're feeling perfectly fine. Now pay attention to any physical changes in your cat. You see, physical changes, whether they're drastic or subtle, can signal that your cat isn't feeling its best. Let's delve into some of the key indicators that you should watch out for. First off, keep an eye on your cat's weight. A sudden change, be it weight gain or loss, could point to a health issue. Cats are creatures of habit and their weight tends to remain stable. So, if you notice your feline friends slimming down or bulking up without a change in diet or activity level, it's definitely a cause for concern. Next, let's talk about the cat's coat. A healthy feline has a shiny, clean and smooth coat. But when a cat falls ill, its coat might appear dull, tangled or even lose some hair. This is because cats who aren't feeling well may stop grooming themselves, moving on to the eyes. Clarity is the key here. Healthy cat eyes are bright and clear. If you see cloudiness, redness, or excessive discharge, these could be signs of an underlying health issue. Similarly, changes in the color of your cat's gums, from a healthy pink to pale or yellow, might indicate a problem. But don't forget, these signs can be subtle. You might only notice them if you're paying close attention. That's why it's so important to spend quality time with your pet, observing them, and getting to know their normal state. This way, you'll more likely spot any changes that might otherwise go unnoticed. And remember, cats are masters at hiding their discomfort. It's a survival instinct. So even if they're feeling under the weather, they might not show it in obvious ways. That's why it's up to us as caring pet parents to stay vigilant and look out for these physical changes. To wrap up, while it's normal for cats to have off days, significant or persistent changes in their physical state can be a warning sign. Physical changes, no matter how subtle, should never be ignored. It's always better to err on the side of caution and consult with a vet if you have any doubts about your cat's health. It's important to recognize when your cat is in distress. As we continue our journey into understanding our feline friends and their health, Let's delve into the signs of distress. Cats, like humans, have their ways of expressing discomfort. The key is to stay observant and understand these communication cues. One sign of distress that is quite common but often overlooked is excessive grooming. 
Now we all know cats are meticulous groomers, but when it crosses from routine to obsession, it's a red flag. Excessive grooming can indicate a variety of issues from skin irritations to internal discomfort. So, if you notice your cat spending an unusual amount of time grooming, it's time to investigate further. Next, let's talk about hiding. Cats are known for their love of cozy corners and high perches, but consistent hiding, especially in unusual or cramped spaces, may signal distress. If your cat is spending more time under the bed than on it, it could be a sign that they're not feeling their best. Now, on to vocalization. Cats are not the most vocal creatures, but when in distress, they might resort to meowing, purring or even hissing more than usual. It's their way of telling you, hey, something's not right here. Remember, a sudden change in your cat's vocalization pattern can signify discomfort or pain. Lastly, we have aggression. This can be a tricky one, as cats can be naturally playful and feisty. However, if your usually docile cat starts showing unprovoked aggression, it may be a sign of distress. Aggression can stem from fear, discomfort, or pain, so it's crucial to approach your cat with care and patience. In all these instances, remember that these behaviors are not your cat being difficult or moody. They're signals, ways in which your cat is trying to communicate their discomfort or pain to you. Understanding these signs is the first step to helping your beloved pet. Your cat's distress signals are a cry for help, so take them seriously. Knowing when to take your cat to the vet is crucial. It's a statement that bears repeating because it's so vital to your pet's health and well-being. One of the greatest challenges as a pet owner is to discern when your feline friend is in need of medical attention. Cats are notorious for hiding their discomfort making it even more important to stay vigilant. The first scenario when it's necessary to rush to the vet is in the case of visible injury. If your cat has been in a fight, had a fall, or encountered a sharp object, immediate veterinary attention is necessary. Even seemingly minor injuries can escalate quickly if not treated properly. Severe weight loss is another red flag. If your cat is losing weight rapidly, regardless of its appetite, it could be a sign of an underlying health issue. Diseases like diabetes, hyperthyroidism or kidney disease can cause drastic weight loss in cats. If your feline friend is shedding pounds without an obvious reason, it's time to schedule a vet visit. Prolonged behavior changes can also be indicative of a problem. Cats are creatures of habit, and any major shifts in their normal routine or demeanor warrant attention. This could be anything from excessive hiding, increased aggression, changes in grooming habits or alterations in their eating and drinking patterns. These changes could be symptomatic of stress, illness, or even age-related issues. Remember, you know your cat better than anyone else. If something feels off, it probably is. Trust your instincts. If your cat's behavior or physical condition continues to concern you, don't hesitate to seek professional advice. In many cases, early detection can make a significant difference in the outcome of a disease or disorder. It's always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to the health of your beloved pet. In conclusion, while it's important to be aware of your cat's normal behavior and physical condition, it's equally essential to recognize when professional help is needed. When in doubt, always consult with a professional. Caring for a sick cat can be challenging, but your efforts can make a huge difference. We've covered a lot of ground today, from identifying unusual behavior and physical changes, to recognizing signs of distress, and knowing when it's time to seek professional help. These are all critical elements in monitoring your cat's health. It's important to remember, however, that proactive and preventative care is just as crucial. Regular visits to the vet are a must, not just when your cat is showing signs of illness. These checkups can catch potential issues early before they become serious problems. And let's not forget the importance of a healthy lifestyle. A balanced diet, regular exercise, and plenty of love and attention can do wonders for your cat's well-being. Remember, your cat relies on you to understand when something is wrong. Stay observant, stay informed, and you'll be the best cat parent you can be.